Hey, this is Pastor Carney again with Phil Kuhn. And this segment has typically been called Three Questions with Pastor. I'm taking a twist on that because it's Christmas. It's mm -hmm. Billy's Christmas gift to me. And so I'm changing it. He doesn't know this, but I'm changing this to Three Questions from Pastor. All right. And I'm asking Billy and Phil these three questions. Questions. You got the three questions? I got them in my head. All right. And uh, the legal up. disclaimer is now on your screen. We all have questions, and Pastor Carney has answers. We all want to know what he thinks. There's important information to know. What are his thoughts? How did he get here? What's his favorite golf ball? It's time for three questions with Pastor Carney. Home alone. Really? One, two, or three. Which one? Uh, I think the second one is my favorite. The New York. There's something, yeah, Lost in New York. Uh, there's something about the first one that's original. It just feels good. But as far as like the the humor, the second one, the uh, stunt doubles, that, yeah. that, and the second one and all the different stunts that they have yeah. to do, there's something about it in the house in New York that, yeah. that does it for me. And Mr. Duncan's toy shop. Oh, I yes. Mean, yes. It just gives you all the feels. But yeah, Home okay. Alone, I also think it's the music in the movies. Okay. The ding, 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 okay. You know, all the different all things. Right. In it, but I'd say Home Alone. Okay. Billy. Uh, I'll go with the, um, with the argument starter first. Uh, Die Hard. <laughs> See? Told you. <laughs> Don't. That always starts an argument. <laughs> okay. No, no argument. Yeah. It's a Christmas movie. It, so I don't, okay, I right. never yeah. seen it. No, it's not really a Christmas movie. It's a it's a movie that happens yeah. at Christmas. Oh, okay. um, but my favorite Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Both good movies. Both good movies. Yeah. Or him. Mm. Hmm. Good question. Do you have one, Billy? Yet. My all-time favorite Christmas song, uh, it, it, it's got to be now. It, it wasn't traditionally, but it has to be now because we've been doing it with the praise band is Angels We Have Heard on High. Oh, okay. I just really like the way that we've arranged that yeah. And, yeah. and we do it. And I, I, I enjoy singing it. I always have enjoyed mm. singing it, but I enjoy it with the praise band and, and everything. Um, but there is one other that I like to sing but it's not a christmas song which is uh jingle bells oh okay um that traditionally was a thanksgiving song so if anyone ever says there are no hymns for yeah. thanksgiving that, jingle bells right. dashing through the snow and one horse open yeah. sleigh on a, it's all about going to grandma's house for thanksgiving dinner yeah. it's not a christmas yeah. song yeah. wow yeah things you didn't know for 500 yeah. alex so phil you Favorite all-time Christmas song? Okay, so I'm going to go with Silent Night when it comes Ooh. to giving me feels and, okay. and making mm -hmm. me feel like every Christmas uh, I've got memories of being as a kid mm -hmm. down in my grandparents' basement, mm -hmm. which is the basement that you now That's have, right? right? right. Uh, we had a lot of memories in that basement mm -hmm. sitting around as an entire extended family singing Silent Night. I can hear my grandma's voice in my mm -hmm. head still hearing that. I also think of Christmas Eve candlelight service, mm -hmm. Silent Night. There's always that moment. I take a minute and as we're singing, I just look around at my family at church mm -hmm. and I see their faces. It's a good reminder of, of what's important. Um, but outside of church, I love um, Jingle Bell Rock. Oh yeah, and it's just a fun one. Makes yeah. it, it makes you feel good. Yeah. And I also like um, what is it? Uh, Melikiliki Maka. Yes, I, that is such a good one too. And it Melikiliki Maki Maka Hiki Ho. It makes me feel warm for about yes. thirty seconds. That is so. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Melikiliki Maki Maka Hiki Maka Hiki Ho. Yeah, puts me on a beach. Christmas. Come on, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day when you sit down for the big meal. What's it? Mm. What's the food or drink has got to be okay. there? Okay, what so I'm gonna go with Christmas Eve again. Another tradition is we go to my mom and Tim's house, uh, my stepdad, and we have always, for years and years and years, had a uh, shrimp cocktail oh. uh, in the evening <laughs> because we open up presents with my mom okay. on Christmas yeah. Eve. Okay, and then we also have sparkling grape juice. Uh, so okay. that just anytime I have those two things, uh, it makes me remember. But as far as like a Christmas Day me, I'd go with ham. Yep. Ham just it hits the spot Christmas but Day. Shrimp cocktail and sp oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I can't say that I have any food that I have to have at a Christmas meal. I'll, 
eat pretty much anything for Christmas. Mm. Um, but along the lines, what Phil just said with the opening, the presents, we've always done uh, appetizers Christmas Eve, mm. just an endless supply of appetizers that uh, yeah. throughout the night we open presents and dips and yes. finger food and mm. stuff like that. That's you know, the yeah. you know, shrimp cocktail, shrimp and shrimp cocktail are, you know, obviously always yeah. there. But on Christmas Day, it's really not about the dinner for our family, yeah. our immediate family. It's more about the breakfast. So cinnamon rolls, Christmas cookies, Ooh. hot chocolate, Ooh. stuff like that. So, I'm going yes, to bring yes, 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 yes. Chocolate yeah. cake for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. So, wow. yeah, we, we yeah. load up on the sweet snacks for breakfast. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't add. I forgot something that's pretty special to my family. Christmas Eve, before church, we always get together. We used to go out. Uh, to a restaurant. We'd go to Applebee's. We've gotten so big, mm -hmm. we can't do it anymore. Yeah. So now yeah. we go to my brother's house. We eat Applebee's about, will do that too. Yeah, yeah we eat at about four o'clock mm. and uh, we have this huge dinner uh, with all of our uh, family. There's about 20 of us there. Wow. Uh, all my siblings, my mom and dad and, and stepdad and, and everybody. And so that's a, a tradition that we have, wow. but there's not a specific food or drink yeah. that we have. So Wow. Awesome. 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 Well, now you got to know a little bit more about the Coon and Brinkhoff households on Christmas. And I enjoyed this, turning the tables on these guys, because for the whole year, they do it to me. So this has been three questions from Pastor. And thank you, Phil. And thank you, Billy, for playing along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Take care. God bless. Remember, God loves you. Merry Christmas. Thanks again for joining us. If you have any questions about Redeemer, have a topic or interview suggestion, or need to know anything about the church, you can contact the church office at churchoffice at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Pastor Carney at Pastor underscore Carney at RedeemerWarsaw.org, Phil at Phil.Prevail at gmail.com, or Billy at RLC underscore IT at RedeemerWarsaw.org. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please join us again next week. And until then, may the Lord be with your spirit and grace be with you. Third and final question. No beach.